Hey, welcome to Board Game Casual. Today, we're looking at one of the most unique board games I've played, Redwood. Before we get into the review, today's video is brought to you by The Misplay Podcast. Join host Jason and Mark on their journey to design a board game from scratch and build their own board game company. It's a great listen, they've got an active Discord, and I'm a big fan. Check out The Misplay in the podcast app or at themisplay.com. Redwood is a game of spatial estimation. You and your opponents are playing as wildlife photographers, taking photos of high-scoring flora and fauna in different backdrops, competing for who can build and score the best panorama. On your turn, simply put, you're going to move your character into position and then take a picture. What makes Redwood really unique are the mechanics in how you do so. To move your character, each player actually has two figurines. You're going to snap one of the movement pieces onto the base of your figurine that's already on the board. Rotate it into whatever position you like, though it cannot touch another player or object. Then place your second figurine onto the circle spot at the end and remove your original figurine off the board. Next, to take a photo, you're going to choose one of these semi-transparent lens pieces to snap onto your figurine, rotate it into the ideal position, and whatever plants and animals fall completely within the boundaries of your lens are considered part of your photo. You take the matching tokens for those plants and animals and place them on the backdrop card that matches the ecosystem uh, in the background behind those animals on the board. The tricky thing is that you have to choose both your movement piece and your lens piece up front before doing anything else on your turn. There's also a rule that as soon as you touch a piece, you have to take it. So there's no picking up pieces to get a better feel for their size. And you also can't use the same pieces you used on your last turn. It sounds simple, but trust me when I say this decision can be agonizing. And there's nothing worse than thinking you've got everything lined up for the perfect picture with multiple subjects and a high scoring buck only to snap that lens on and find out that a small toe of that buck is sticking out beyond the lens which means you don't score that animal at all it's devastating and the fact that you can't use the same pieces twice in a row is really clever because once you use it you kind of have a better feel for that piece but Having to choose something different puts you right back to square one. Different types of plants and animals are worth different points. You score bonus points based on sets and background variation. And you can also get or lose points based on how many of your photos have the sun in the background as it moves around the board. The production quality is top notch. It uses a dual layer board where the animals snap right into place, making it easy when it's time to move them around the board. And because they're raised, it makes it obvious when a movement path might be blocked. One thing that really stood out to me is that the figurines each have a grippy neoprene pad on the bottom. And it's mind-blowing how much this does for the tactile feel. The pads obviously make it so that the figures don't slide around the board, since positioning is so specific in this game. It's kind of hard to describe, but somehow the grippiness actually makes the figurines feel heavier and more solid. Moving and placing them on the board is so satisfying. I've never felt anything like this. Admittedly, I don't play a ton of games that have minis, so I don't know if these neoprene pads are actually commonly found elsewhere. But man, after playing Redwood, I wish all figurines had this. Final thoughts on Redwood. This is definitely one of the most unique, interesting games I've played. I'm not sure if you'd call this a dexterity game, but it has that kind of overall feel to it. It's fun, but man, it can be agonizing. I was really good at moving and choosing the right piece to get my figurine exactly where I wanted it, but I was much worse at picking the right lens. They'd often be too narrow to fit the whole animal I was trying to get or too short. Using the BGG ranking system, I'm giving Redwood a 7.5. 
The uniqueness and high production quality combined with how inviting this game is for non-board gamers is really what's bolstering the score here. I've never really seen anything like it, and I think that people who don't play a lot of board games and who are intimidated by dice and cards and heavy rule sets, even they immediately will understand how to play and will want to turn at it. To me, this is a game that everyone should at least find the chance to try out, just to see how different a board game can be. I would certainly play Redwood if someone else wanted to, and I know I'd have a good time playing it, but it's probably not a game that I'm personally going to seek out and buy for myself. Hey, if you've played Redwood, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. And let me know if those neoprene pads for minis are a common thing. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next time here on Board Game Casual.